This video will go through bringing audio clips into Adobe Audition and working with the multi-track editor. When you open up the program, you'll see sort of empty boxes here. Um, and this is where you will have your audio files to edit um, in this big space here. And on the left is where you'll see some of the files you're working with. But you have to actually make some changes to, to actually start seeing those things. To get started, we'll make a new multi-track session which will be the place where we end up putting all of our files. And we'll call it Urban Farms. And you'll see all of these options in this new uh, session frame. Leave them as defaults for now. Um, there are other tutorials that you can watch to sort of understand better these different settings, but this tutorial won't, won't really go into that. Once you have your new session, you'll see several different tracks show up on your screen, um, but you won't actually see any audio in them. So you've just created a placeholder for you to edit audio clips that you're going to bring in. And there's a couple different ways you can bring that audio into this program. The first is the standard file, import, and then file. Um, you can also use this files tab here to search folders and bring in files very similar to uh, importing a file. So if I selected a file here and click on open, it will bring that file into my tab. It will also open that audio file all by itself. So you can see this is a single audio file here. If I click back here on Urban Farms, this is my multi-track and it's empty. So even though I've brought in this audio file, until I actually place it onto a track, it's just open separately. And you can see here on the drop-down the two different files that are open at any time. The third way you can bring a file into your multi-track is to simply open up your finder window, search for the file you want to bring in, and then click and drag it right into your multi-track, uh, into one of the tracks. You'll see that it converts the file that you're working with to the default settings in your multi-track session. So you don't have to do any work converting any files. Um, Audition will do that work for you. So if you didn't do it that way, you could just bring it over from your files here. You can click and drag. It will do the same conversion um, and you'll see the file there. When you're looking through your multi-track um, project, you can sort of zoom in and out and, and fine tune uh, how you're looking at it in a couple different ways. So down at the bottom there's some zoom options so you can zoom in and out of a track. You can also use the keyboard shortcut um, the plus and minus keys. So if I hit plus, if I hit minus you're seeing the same thing I'm zooming in and out. Um, another really quick way to look through your project is using this bar at the top. And so this bar is basically um, giving you a global perspective of what your file looks like. So you can see two green lines here, which represent these two tracks on the, um, in the mixer. So now you might also want to record your own voice um, into, directly into the program. And you can do that very simply in Audition. First, I'm going to mute these two tracks that we were working with. And you can see I've muted them just by selecting this M key on each of the track options. And then on this third track here, I'm going to select the R which will arm that track for recording. You'll notice when I select R, the audio levels are starting to show up here in the options. And that's showing you that it's ready to record and you can sort of test your audio levels. It's not actually recording though until you come down to the bottom and select the record button. So you'll see when I hit record, it starts timing my recording and it goes through and starts creating a new track um, where I have armed that track for recording. It's really important that you mute the tracks, um, any other track you have at that time, so that as it's recording, you don't hear the playback in the background. If you don't mute them, you'll hear everything that's already there and it'll create an echo in your recording. When you're done recording, come back down here and select record again, and you'll see the scrubber keeps going. So you can select stop, or you can use the space bar, uh, which is a shortcut to play and stop your file.
when you're finished recording, make sure you select that R again so that it's no longer armed for recording. So this was a quick review of Audition, and we went over how to bring in files, how to work in the space, and how to record your own voice.